Hello again, everybody. I'm Paul Steigerwald. Championship teams are built like a puzzle with various unique pieces, big and small, coming together towards an ultimate goal. With 2022 marking 30 years since the Penguins won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups in 91 and 92, we looked into the players and coaches of those teams and were pleased to find that a majority of them are still impacting the game today. The Stanley Cup has come to the city of Pittsburgh. The 1991 Stanley Cup champions, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Jelio shoots it, blocks, the Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. Oh, Lord Stanley, Lord Stanley, get me the brandy. Unbelievable feeling again for the Pittsburgh Penguins to win the Stanley Cup for the second consecutive year. The players and personnel who brought the first two Stanley Cups to Pittsburgh were a unique group, to say the least. People from all over the world coming together and riding two seasons of exhilarating highs. Same made rebound on the view. Hey! Shows that scores! You'd have to be here to believe it. And unfathomable lows. We planned to carry on, and his goal was to to win Stanley Cups, so we're gonna go on with that goal of his. When I was looking for a coach the year before, we were in Minnesota, and there's a payphone outside the locker room, and I, I called Bob Johnson from, from that payphone. And then the following year, we win the cup in that building, so it was kind of unique for me. Around two dozen players and coaches whose names are on the Stanley Cup are still involved in hockey today. You may hear or see several of them every hockey night in Pittsburgh. I think the players that we're all part of were close in a certain way. There's still guys that are around, like right now, Bob Erie, will get to work with him every night. The one good part about the pandemic was that the TV crew, they kind of stayed here for away games. Are you always in the middle? In the you look at some of the players that Craig Patrick was able to bring in, veteran type players to, you know, to blend with the players that had really um, gone through the trials and tribulations, guys like myself and Loney and Bork and, you know, Caulfield and we just, you know, mucked and grind to, to stick around for 10 years and, and to be able to be involved with guys that uh, you know had won Stanley Cups before like the Joey Mullins and the Brian Trottiers and guys like that. You had a great perspective of having Craig Patrick, Scotty Bowman, Badger Bob Johnson, Mario Lemieux, Paul Coffey. You had those kind of people that you learned the game from not only on the ice but off the ice and I think what you're seeing now is a lot of those those Stanley Cup champions, those former players have now taken what they learned here in Pittsburgh and uh, taken it to other organizations and been very successful. And one of those players who found success was goaltender Wendell Young. If my math's good, I think I've got eight rings in that aspect. How many do you wear on day day? Zero. Young is currently the general manager for the Chicago Wolves, and he's the only player to have won a Memorial Cup, a Turner Cup from the IHL, a Stanley Cup, and the AHL's Calder Cup. I've been told one time I was a disciple of hockey. You know, I talk hockey, I live hockey, I watch hockey. I, like, everything's around hockey in my life. And I think it's the same way for all these guys. I think we love the game. I think that's the kind of team we had. We love playing the game. We had fun playing the game. Uh, you look at how many Hall of Famers are on that team. It, it speaks of uh, the quality of, of not just on ice, but the quality of people off ice, too. And all around the NHL, from scouting, player development, coaching, members of those teams are contributing to the success of today's game. The one guy that stands out the most is Ronnie Francis. You know, just as such a, a student of the game. He seemed to, under, whenever I had a question about what was going on off the ice, whether it's, it's management or just the business side, I'd go to Ronnie, hey Ronnie, what's going on here? And he'd have the answer right away. So no surprise at all that he's a GM for the Seattle Kraken. Jimmy Peck, I think what he's done in the hockey world, being able to take a country to the Olympics and um, had a great opportunity here with the Penguins and he made the most of it. Put him right in front of the pack, he walks in, he shoots and scores! Jimmy Pack gets a goal in the Stanley Cup Finals! Oh, you ain't nothing but a hound dog! And Jimmy Pack, who got his first NHL goal tonight. He's been a winner throughout his career. There it is. <laughs> I have it with me everywhere. I love teaching. I wanted to have a connection with the Korean kids over in Korea uh, to build a, a relationship there and teach what I've learned over the years. The experiences I've had uh, coaching the Korean national team 
it was just uh, an incredible, incredible experience. People like winners, and those guys were. And they were winners for a reason, because they had the passion, they had the smarts, and the stick-to-itiveness to, to be able to get things done. So that's what it takes in hockey. These guys have established themselves as uh, professionals, both on the ice and off, and uh, are successful in all walks of life. Fortunately for Penguins fans, these talented characters were together at the right place and the right time. Whether it's in broadcasting, coaching, or ownership, their legacy extends beyond their playing days. Unless, of course, you're talking about Yaramir Yager, who incredibly, at the age of 50, is still playing hockey.